welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. I am a working mom with two boys and I own a small jewelry company called Briar Lane. Uh, today we're going to pack some orders. So I've talked about this in like so many videos. It's kind of hard to do packing with me videos in the very slow months. I kind of chose not the greatest time to be starting a YouTube channel because these are literally my slowest months. So instead of having 30 orders to pack in a day and having plenty of content for a video of like the kind of ASMR type of packing video, I might have, um, you know, one third that. So this weekend was Christmas weekend and I got a total of 11 Etsy orders. I got two Macari orders and I did quite a few local pickups. Most of the local pickups are done. I've already sent out in the ones for Christmas weekend. I'm just sticking to my normal shipping times because Christmas is over and I will try to get them all out in a timely manner. Stay much quicker than what my normal five to seven days is just not like the next day um, because we did have Christmas this weekend we have multiple families we have to go to and it's just a lot to do um, in the weekend so today is Tuesday it's my day off the baby is down for his nap and I am going to try to get all of the orders that came in over the weekend packed and ready and then I think if I have time um, instead of printing those labels on the computer, I'm gonna try to set up, if you watched a couple of videos ago, my Christmas haul, Jason got me a um, Munbin shipping label printer. So I need to set it up. It says it works with your I'm iPads. I'm going to try to film me setting it up and seeing if it just works in general <laughs> or how it works um, and if the setup's pretty easy. I'm gonna grab my iPad. I usually just hold my iPad and then I pick, so, the process starts with picking, that's what I call it. So I pick all of the charms and the pieces and the materials that I'm going to need for those orders. So I'll just go from top to bottom. I will pull out all those people pieces and then I will kind of like lay them on this uh, topper up here, which is there's a, like a ledge um, from where the bins are. I'll pick all those and then I will uh, turn you around. I lay out all of the bubble mailers and I set the items for each person on their own uh, bubble mailer. Then I will go through, I will make them all, I will package them all up, get them wrapped in bubble wrap and reset them back on the according, uh, and then I will reset them back on the um, bubble mailer that they were sitting on previously. And then once that's completely done, I will go through and normally at this point, I had already had shipping labels printed so they would be sitting on the bubble mailer and then I would set the earrings on top of that once they were finished. I haven't printed them yet because I wanna try to set up the new shipping label printer. So I'm going to, I think, um, just make them all, get them all ready, and then do a separate video of me trying to set that up so that I don't have to print them on my printer and I can print them on the shipping label uh, printer itself and see how that goes, at least practice and set it up and see. So um, if you guys love these ASMR type of packing videos, uh, stay tuned and we will get all of these orders packed and filled whilst uh, Little Man is sleeping. Okay, I'm out of cards, so I use these um, like cardboard, 
earring cards uh, that come with the sleeve to send all of my earrings in, um, on I should say, and I do stamp them by hand. So I know that what I have stamped is not going to make it through uh, the orders that I have. So I need to stamp some more because it looks like I need at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, probably about 12 and I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six. So technically I only need six more, but because I don't love this task, I'm going to take a stack of them and I am going to go ahead and just friggin' stamp them so they are done. So I will speed through that. Um, it's literally just me stamping. I take my logo stamp and a ink pad and I just stamp them on there. Okay, I'm gonna speed through this, but this is the supplies that I typically need. I need rubber backings, I need jump rings, the cards, the sleeves, hooks, whatever like direction, directional hooks I need, tape. Oh, I guess I don't need tape since I'm not putting on any labels. Scratch that, I don't need tape. And then a bin of, um, I refill this, and actually now that I look at it, I have no silver in here. So I'm gonna really quickly throw some silver in here, and then I'll get to getting all of these ready. The other thing I do need is bubble wrap. Okay, so I pre-cut my bubble wrap into squares just so they're easy to use and then I set them on my desk so as I pack I put them in um, a bubble wrap piece and um, wrap it around these are perfectly fit wrapping around a card uh, just for extra protection in the beginning I didn't use any bubble wrap and thought the bubble mailer would be okay and the mail is crap lately so they're just not as safe going through the mail so there has to be an extra layer of um, protection if I could afford it, I would love to eventually get to having everything in boxes, but these boxes are like anywhere from 30 to $70. Um, and the bigger the box, the more expensive they are and the less amount you get. So like the little boxes are like 30 bucks for like a hundred, which is not that bad. Um, but the bigger boxes are more expensive. So eventually I'd like to have all boxes, but we will see how that goes. So let's get some of these orders packed and uh, ready to go. Okay, I wanted to show you guys, sometimes when I pack, I do have things that I'm not sure. So like these guys, I have a lot of these types of charms and sometimes I do them where they're facing each other and sometimes I do them when they're going the right way. Um, a lot of them I have memorized what way they go, but some of them I don't. These are newer, so I don't have them memorized. So I do need to get on to um, my Etsy and look because I always make them match what's on my Etsy. So the Mocha's going the same way, and the, okay, so these are going this way, and the stethoscope is going this way. So I have to make sure they match what's on my picture, because you don't want to send somebody something, and then they don't look the way that the picture um, shows that they were photographed and how they come. So um, now I know, and I will have to do that on a few of these when I just don't know exactly what direction they go.
So I might just leave all of this uh, until Jason gets home and then we'll film a video of that. Why? I can never wear my glasses because there's always these glares from the lights at the camera, but I also like can't see without them. So there's that. Um, anyways, that was my video. Ignore my ring light. Um, I got all of that packed. Thank goodness it's all done and ready to be um, having shipping labels put on them and then I can stick them in the mail. I won't make it in the mail today, unfortunately, but I will make it in the mail tomorrow. I will drop them off at the post office um, and then those should be there. Usually it takes anywhere from like three to five days for most stuff to ship throughout the U.S., but I don't know. With the mail system now, it's been a mess. So anyways, that was my video. I hope you guys enjoyed a little pack with me. Um, I did have to like super speed through some of it. And then there was about four packages that I didn't pack because I um, was getting very shaky. I don't know if you can tell, hopefully not throughout the video, but I had to go eat something. And when I came back, I thought I pushed record, but I didn't. So I just went ahead and packed those really quickly. Um, so, oh, you know, well, it is what it is. Um, I needed to eat something and take a break. So anyways, that was my video. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me while I pack some orders. Um, and we will see you guys in the next video.